A small town volunteer fire department embroiled in controversy is now dissolving. And now the town of Glen Lynn is divided on the issue. Time News reporter Connor Dietrich shows how tonight's public hearing got heated over the future of the department. These days when y'all need help, nobody will be there to help you. Because you know why? Y'all won't let nobody do it. A Glen Lynn Town Council public hearing Wednesday turned ugly after council voted to dissolve the area's volunteer fire department. The issue started back nearly a year ago when allegations of criminal nature were brought against members of the fire department. However, till this day, no criminal charges have been filed. Since the allegations, multiple members left the department, drawing suspicion from the town council. It was a number of issues. It wasn't just, one single issue. Right, it just kept stacking up. Yes. So you kind of just wanted to close it down just to get it all sorted out before exactly. and reopening. that's where we are. The fire department was suspended back in April and has yet to open back up. Members of the department, including Chief Doug Farewell, are questioning what's holding the council back. I understand what they're what they're saying, and I know stuff takes time, but I think me must have went by from April, but now I think that's that's long enough. I find the fire department argues response times are now longer because people need to wait for crews from other parts of Giles County to get to the scene. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to come from Parisburg all the way down here, and that's 15 minutes. You, you know, you lose. You need to get right there within five or six minutes on a house fire or even a heart attack but you can get there as quick as you can. Looking big picture, the town is having a special election in December to possibly come an unincorporated town where all services would fall under the county. And the town hopes to eventually reopen the department when allegations are cleared up. It doesn't sound like you guys want to get rid of the fire department at all. You still want a fire department. We want the fire department, yes. Yeah. And we are hoping to reorganize where that uh, as I stated before, we're a small community and we need to be, we don't need to exclude anyone. The fire department may open up sooner rather than later as members are going to court with the town on Friday to try and get the station back open. In Giles County, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.